So I'm Oleg Kozin. Uh, I'm working for FIM and uh, especially in the vendor uh, business line, working in NFC and payment. Well, FIM is a consultancy company, a worldwide leader in consultancy, in uh, laboratory, in and testing tools. Uh, we are present quite all over the world. We have an office in uh, we have offices in Asia, in India, in Europe, and in America. We are uh, working in uh, different sectors, in banking, in telecom, in transport, and in EID. Our customers are banks, of course, they are manufacturers, so meaning uh, manufacturers for device, for securement, uh, for TSM and, and many more. Well, maybe we should maybe just recall a little bit what is Global Platform. So it's a non-profit association. Uh, putting all the stakeholders together uh, to uh, elaborate a specification for a smooth NFC deployment, ensuring security and ensuring interoperability. So all these stakeholders together, they do elaborate specification that are uh, a good framework, that are uh, state-of-the-art frameworks, uh, and they are, of course, a very good basis for us to first to develop our tools and to uh, go to the market saying this is the right specification you have to use again to have this um, secure and smooth NFC deployment. So it's very, uh, very important to us and very relevant at the same time. Uh, I would say that uh, there are many uh, challenges into uh, our industry and especially in testing industry today. Uh, we can see every day uh, new technologies appearing and of course our customer uh, they get lost into this new technology and how to implement this new technology, what they have to uh, implement or they have to implement. So for us we are um, we do want to uh, help them into finding the, the right technology, the right way to implement. And so we have to uh, select uh, and to find uh, the, best, the best path for our customers. So in that purpose, uh, the global platform specifications and the way to uh, implement uh, this new technology is the um, is a key, um, a key argue to our customers and a key way to develop our tools. To me, the future role of global platform uh, would be um, well, a, strong, a strong partner, a strong partner in our business, um, a network where it's possible to uh, define, again, new specification, to go a step further, to, um, to put all the people together. Today, the market is very widespread. There are many, many actors that want to, uh, to initiate new, um, new ways. And it's a way to put all the people together and to, uh, um, to advance in the, in the same way to make things real. Uh, so now I'm going to present you our global device uh, test tool. Uh, of course, we are uh, following very closely the device committee for uh, global platform, elaborating the specification. And the, uh, the tool is, of course, based on these global platform specifications. Uh, today, on this tool, we have several test plans. One is dedicated to validate the trusted execution environment with client and internal API. Uh, we have another library uh, to validate uh, the communication uh, between the SOC and uh, the secure element on securities, the secure element access control library. We also do have um, the open mobile API library. Uh, all these libraries are uh, qualified by Global Platform. And once again, this is a tool that um, is the same as the one we are using in our labs. And we also uh, we also have another library 
for the G GSMA NFC uh, test handbook. So maybe I can show you also briefly uh, one example of a test to be passed. Uh, again, we have very uh, simple tools, uh, very simple to use, uh, very user friendly. I'm now opening uh, a project into uh, my uh, computer to show you this example. I've I have select um, just one test from the Open Mobile API library. For uh, this test, uh, they will have a communication with the mobile device with a technical element to validate this library. So I'm launching especially uh, this test. And we see uh, on the device that the application is running and answering to our tool to, um, to validate the library, to validate the test, sorry. We can see uh, all the uh, exchange with the library, with the mobile, and we can see very easily the results and if there is something to uh, dig into to find any, any errors. Uh, then, of course, like the other tool, we can make some reports and send the reports to, um, to, uh, to our developer into the company to find if there's any issue, an issue to be, to be solved. Of course, you have also many options uh, to filter the test, to group the test, so that you can very easily dig into a specific aspects uh, into uh, the development. So now I'm going to present you our uh, global TSM test tool. Uh, it's a tool that is available today. Uh, we have today our theme libraries, uh, theme test plans, and of course, one of the uh, official uh, qualification for global platform will be, will be added. The tool will be officially qualified. And uh, of course, this is the same tool uh, that will be used in our theme labs to officially qualify uh, the product of our customers. As you can see, it's a very user-friendly tool, real uh, nice design. Um, just would like to uh, set up an example of uh, passing a test with our tool. Um, of course, as in the end-to-end uh, -end framework, we are uh, checking all the uh, messaging and the sequencing for, uh, for the TSMs. So, easy to uh, select uh, the test I want to pass, and then I just click on Run Test uh, to, um, to see the results of the test. So here, it's a test dedicated on checking the LGBT to, uh, for, um, for the application. We can see that the uh, results are, are passed for, um, for this example. I can then move to uh, the log reports to see what happened in the exchange of information. And then I can create uh, the reports uh, to, um, to, to people into my company. Okay, so we do have the, uh, the results of the test and we can just uh, pass the mouse onto uh, the result to have more information. Some, for instance, if something went wrong and we want to dig into a specific point, it's very easy to find uh, uh, the issue. Uh, when this is done, um, I go simply to the next, the next pages to uh, create uh, my report and to be able to, uh, to send to um, colleagues into my company. As you can see, we have the report with all information that we can share. Uh, with different um, uh, different testing or uh, people into into the company or or the developers, if something went wrong, you have to modify this point and this point, so you can really dig into the into the point very easily. Of course, this is um, a tool that will be um, uh, qualified once the uh, official uh, GP uh, test phase will occur. 
but we do or rely already on the global platform messaging uh, specification, of course, and on to end-to-end -end simplified framework.